Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Bennett Math, and today we're going to learn about differentiation of trigonometric functions, and we're going to differentiate each function with respect to x. So, if I was given this function, y equals the secant of 4x to the 5th power, okay? The secant of 4x to the 5th power. Well, the first thing I'm going to look at here is, okay, secant, what is the derivative of secant? And that's going to be secant x tangent x. So derivative of secant x is secant x tangent x. So dy dx here is equal to secant parentheses here times the tangent of whatever is in a parenthesis. So I'm going to take that knowledge of derivative of secant and plug 4x squared into each one of these parentheses. 4x squared and 4x squared. Now we need to multiply it by the derivative of the inside using the chain rule, right? All right, so we're going to take the derivative of 4x to the 5th power. That's going to be 20x to the 4th power. Okay. And so now we're pretty much have already taken the derivative. We're going to rewrite it to make it look a little nicer. We're going to put 20x to the 4th out front. So we have 20x to the 4th out front times secant of 4x squared times the tangent of 4x squared. And there we have it, our final. So let's recap. We're given y equals a secant of 4x to the 5th power. Well, I know the derivative of a secant, uh, secant of x is secant x tangent of x. So I'm going to rewrite this to have secant of a space times tangent of some space, some, some parentheses. And then we're going to plug in that 4x to the 5th power to both of those parentheses. Then using chain rule, so we are derivative of the outside, we need to take the derivative of the inside. Chain rule states that we need to take the derivative of 4x to the 5th power, which comes out to be 20x to the 4th. I then rearrange and put that out front. Looks a little nicer. And so again, our final answer here is 20x to the fourth times the secant of 4x squared times tangent of 4x squared.